Clean Space Halo, designed by biomedical engineers for the healthcare sector. The Clean Space Halo is lightweight, comfortable, offers a high level of protection against biohazards and is cost effective. Clean Space Halo is simple to use and can be donned in under 10 seconds. Switch on, click, fit harness, adjust mask. Clean Space's air sensor technology allows for breath responsive airflow. Only safe, filtered air is delivered to the wearer. Heat, moisture, and fogging are eliminated. Doffing is fast and easy. Clean Space Halo recharges in under two hours and provides up to nine hours of continuous operation. There are no belts, cables, or hoses. This allows for unrestricted movement and increased user comfort. Clean Space Halo provides clear voice transmission with a transparent face mask. Clean Space Halo allows excellent communication between staff and patients. Easily replaceable filters remove airborne biohazards and infectious diseases. Clean Space Halo can be used with half masks and full face mask. The low profile design fits comfortably under hoods and face shields. Clean space masks are constructed from a soft, easily cleaned medical silicone. Being completely reusable, the clean space halo eliminates the need for stockpiling, making it more economical, environmentally friendly and fast to deploy. Clean Space Halo is the smart choice for organisations at the forefront of biological hazards. Every angel deserves a halo. So, uh, I want to look into or elaborate on, kind of like discuss about like the new medical technologies and things that are being done to improve uh, patients' health and improve monitoring. There's a couple of devices I want to kind of talk about and maybe go over and together and we can kind of like imagine the possibilities, uh, the endless possibilities. <laughs> but uh, no, there seems like some really uh, decent things to help uh, patients in the hospital and patients at the doctor's office. The first device I want to look at is a wearable device called a Bioflux. You wear it, it's got a 24-7 electrocardiogram. It's kind of like how diabetics have a glucom glucometer, 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 right? And this is for people, this is more like for cardio patients. And this basically transmits cardiac data, and uh, including all the abnormalities that are monitored. It's all monitored in real time, and it's sent to a call center. They've got about 1,500 cardiologists that use this. And I mean, it's a good idea. This is a part of, um, reminds me, I did a video a long time ago with the telemedicine and you know, you have this remote monitoring. So this is, again, it gives you, gives your doctor real time results of how your heart's doing and how your cardiac situation is. So they can kind of, um, know, be in the know, right? So they, I guess, I'm assuming you have a, application like this you wear it if it's sending data to the doctor I'm sure he gets alerts or whatever yeah, that's another thing but I don't know well, I would say it's a call center right so it's a real-time call center at least the doctor has an idea right he can pull up the information right away in case he gets a call or something dire happens you know god forbid but yeah they say more than 1500 cardiologists use this right and they make it uh, they want to make it available uh, to more they've got it available to 3 million patients so it's now making, um, it's really making progress on monitoring uh, people's cardiac condition, cardiac, their heart condition. And there's another similar device called BioHeart. It's another wearable, it's like a wearable EKG, and it pairs with your smartphone, and it helps users track their heart health as well. That one, that's even got a price tag on it. I think it's 200 bucks. Yeah. I wonder how that's covered, insurance or what. You can get it from Amazon as well. Um, it gives uh, a patient insight to their heart condition also. Next we have an AI powered stethoscope. This is like 
<laughs> this is interesting. Stethoscope the doctor holds to your heart. My doctor didn't have any. Last time I went to physical, he had a regular stethoscope. I haven't seen this. This is a nice idea, though. So it's an, elect it's an AI powered stethoscope. And what it does, it uh, helps physicians know your uh, heart condition and some other details that are going on with your heart. Like analyze your heartbeat and relay this information. Um, everything's AI now. I wonder where. Uh, that's another video. It's another video. I'm not gonna. I don't want to get off tangent, but I think it's a great idea. I mean, I, th I think you know anything to make. Um, help in real time and help analyze a uh, patient's health condition it's good it helps them interpret the heart and lung sounds and things like that next there is a respirator it's called clean space halo <laughs> makes me think of the video game halo now it's a, I think it, I think it's a TV show out too as well yeah, yeah it's a TV show but um yeah, it's like a respirator that goes around your neck and you put it up to your mouth like you're breathing oxygen. So it, it kind of doubles as a mask and it helps detect if you have a virus. All right. So this is interesting. This is this is good. I mean, no, it's good. It's good. Um, it's helping keep uh, COVID workers um, alert to whether they have COVID or not. Uh, again, they wore it around the neck. They say it's 40 times more effective than the filtration of the N95 mask. This is really cool. It's, that's really cool. So basically like a small oxygen mask that filtrates the air that you breathe. It looks like, uh, hopefully I'll get a, a, a good view of this. It looks transparent. Uh, and they say it's reusable and rechargeable. Okay, that's not bad. You don't have to throw it away. I wonder how long you reuse it. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a small combination of an oxygen mask mixed with a filtration mask. So they, yeah, it does. I mean, there's a benefit to that, right? It reduces waste, right? And that's a great idea. Actually, that's an excellent idea. They say it's being used in about 20 hospitals um, so far, and uh, I think oh, actually no, even more than that. It's eight, that was 20 hospitals in 2021. Now it's 850, 850 hospitals, and they hope to get to more. So it's 2023 now. So I'm I'm thinking they got over more, over a thousand, right? But this is a great idea. I haven't seen it, haven't heard of it. So like, to me, again, it's like a like those futuristic oxygen masks, like when you're landing on a planet and they put that on. There's no like tank, there's no like backpack tank holding oxygen. No, it's really cool though. Forgive my voice if I sound a little bit hoarse. Uh, the weather's been affecting me a little bit, but uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm giving it a good go. And I want to give a shout out to my three returning users. There's three now. It's all four of us. We're still at the 300. Thank you very much. Next, we have another like patient monitoring device. Uh, it's related to, it's kind of reduce patients falling. I guess especially with older patients or patients who have had you know major surgery or any type of limbs that are injured so this one is a uh, it's made by a company called virtue sense technologies so it's an a another ai powered device so this ai powered device uses depth sensors and an algorithm before long we'll be talking to i guess you'll be talking to uh <laughs> like uh iron man and jarvis say hey, jarvis uh how far do I have to walk before my leg gives out? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, this basically uses depth sensors, depth sensors and an algorithm to help predict when the patient's going to get out of bed. And it's going to alert the nurse. I guess that's the way they don't have to just keep checking and checking. Uh, hopefully these systems, you don't have to be, you don't have to babysit them as well. Because, you know, those of us in technology know that sometimes those things, you first get some things that don't work like they should initially and then... With some things, uh, it's not a high quality. You end up babysitting the technology, which is something you shouldn't do because that's what it's, it's technology is there for, so you don't have to babysit. But anyway, yeah, this is uh, it's going. It's been in dozens of hospitals, and it helps um, identify when a patient wants to leave the bed. 
I think it says 35 to 65 seconds before they get up and it's got like a 95% accuracy rate this is pretty good idea I mean this is a uh, I don't want to say revolutionary it's not that but it you know it's good at warning uh, when patients are gonna get out of bed so in case something happens um, they can at least go check to make sure they didn't fall right so it does help I think it this does help reduce falls uh, it's not something at the same time you know a lot of people want their independence and they may feel like they're being treated like kids you know you're gonna, you're gonna get those people of all ages uh, but I still think this is a great idea there's another monitoring technology uh, there's a company called Sander Cardians and this uses like a, a wideband impulse radar so it monitors the patient's vitals uh, without them wearing it's not a wearable it's just a radar that monitors their vitals and it's gonna let you know if the vitals break like the limits set by the doctor and it's gonna alert the staff like heart rate respiratory rate and things like that so it alerts the staff and they can pretty much decide what to do after the alert to see how serious it is yeah this is also good it goes back again to that I talked about telemedicine remote monitoring because you have people who live far out and not exactly close to the city or close to an, a major hospital or a major or a doctor's office right so they can have these devices wherever they are so the doctors can monitor them in real time on a computer or maybe uh, have a nurse you know those home care nurses that would you know get involved in in case you know while they're waiting on the doctor or waiting to be transported again this new telemedicine and AI is really revolutionizing telemedicine or medicine you know from remote medicine I think AI is revolutionizing medicine period you know I have you know we all have our ifs and what ifs about AI but it's really uh, improving uh, things for us and making things more uh, elaborate uh, e easier and, and complex for us uh, there's so many uh, applications in AI to, to be used it's like every day there's new AI there's a use for AI somewhere but anyway I'm gonna stop right here uh, thank you for the time you've given me I appreciate it and please 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 like and su subscribe thank you so much Thank you.